we're setting the from address like what we wanted to say or where we wanted to say it's coming from when we get the log of all the keystrokes emailed to us if you come down here to screenshot we are these these are the keywords as i mentioned we're interested in when a certain window pops up does it have the word login does it have a word bank does it have the word password or email and we can add a couple while we're at it so let me just do something like sign in because sometimes it's not just login it might be sign in so i'll do sign in um and then maybe do something like log in uh that that should do we, we don't need to capture too many of those so and then i got the comma in there and that's it we're good um so max files we're saying these are the number of max files we want to capture like 100 screenshots per max that's just enough and then we're saving it into a screenshots directory which is here to your left as well if you look in the file structure um keylogger this is where we're giving it input as far as um what we want to call the 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 file that stores all the keys we're calling activity.log email interval as i mentioned it's in seconds so this 120 just means we're sending an email every two minutes you can change it to 6,000, which would be like five minutes, whatever. Log rotation, we're saying how many um, seconds or times we want to uh, rotate the log. And then the max log file is like one megabyte or something if we want to do that. And then security here, this is just where we're setting flags. Let's say, hey, when I stop the program, I want to clean up everything. I want to remove my keys. I want to shred the, um, the files that I've done, how many passes of the file. So if you see here, it says three.